Okay, today we're going to learn how to rip a model from um, the N64 emulator. The programs you will need is Project 64 1.7, um, Lemd 3D 8.dll, Blender 2.9. This will be used for um, oh, the Lemd 3D 8. It, it's a graphics plugin that will help rip, I mean, it will rip the models from the um, Project 64. Um, Blender 2.9, that's so you can import the model and then export it to another model so you can do it in your whatever model program you use. And Milkshape 3D is the program I use and you'll be using for this tutorial. Unless, yeah. And um, Automatic Clicker is just uh, basically it clicks for you because you've got to delete all these materials and an automatically clicker is comes in handy. Um, the first thing you got to do is go to your project, install project 64. Probably should already have that. Go into your plugins folder, go to your GFX folder, and put the lemd 3d8.dl file in there. And then go to your local C and create a f new folder um, with capital letters VRML. I've already done this a few times, you can see. Um, then launch your Project 64. Go to Options, Settings, Plugins. Then select Nemu 64 Graphics in commas. It says Combine, I mean in brackets, Combine Debug. Select that, click OK. Um, open your ROM. I'll be using uh, the... Legend of Zelda. Um, notice this program, I mean, this um, graphics plugin has uh, graphical errors. Like you can see two moons, but don't worry about that. Since you're only using it to rip, not to play. Um, I've already got a quick save, so I'll load it from there. I'm in the deco tree right now. Um, basically go up to your model that you want to find. I want to get this Brianna, Brianna plant. So wait until it gets in a good position that you like. Then press F2. This will freeze the emulator. Go to Options, Configure Graphics Plugin, Export VRML. What this will do is export it to that folder you made in your C drive. Click OK. And now what you're going to do is capture one frame. And how to do that is you press F2 and then quickly press F2 again, so like a split second. Now when you go to the VRM folder, just make this bigger, you'll notice there's tons of BMPs and right down the bottom there's an output.wrl and that's your model and there are your textures. Now launch a Launch Blender 2.6, and then um, one, once you're up to this part, press A. This will s unselect everything. Press A again. This will select everything. Press Delete. Then it will come up with Do you want to delete it? Click that. Go up to File, Import, go to X3D, Extensible 3D, dot 3D, X3D, or dot WRL. Now go to your VRML file in your C, I mean folder in your C drive. Click Output, and then click Import up the top over here. Now it will take a while, and... If you scroll your mouse up to it, you will see like a sort of look like a carver. But if you scroll inside, you'll see the link and the piranha plant that you want and the fairy. And it also grabbed the whole room. So if you wanted to grab something else, it would come in handy. Then after you get, know that it's there, go to File, Output. I mean, Export. And I'm going to do a. Wait, do wavefront dot object I mean OBG and then 
I'm just going to put it into the same place as the um th what you imported in. And I'm just going to call it plant. And then click export. Then you can close that because unless you're going to fit. Yeah, I just close it. Um, we'll go to milk, milk shape 3D program. And basically import it as a object and go to C drive VRML and you see plant dot object so click that it'll be like black that doesn't matter um, basically click edit select all go up to face click reverse vertex order this will and then when you go in you can see that um, it's hard to go in that um, you can see basically the whole entire area it's actually textured most of it for you um, but what we do is um, click scale click origin and we're going to upscale it to, I think, 80 in each axis. And click scale. Zoom out on each box thing. And look for the yellow thing. I uh, click move and you can move it around and see that pink and blue thing that's the center origin so try to line it up to that try to line your um what you're trying to rip on it To move, a, move the grid around, uh, you just press the middle key and you can move it around without, without moving the proper arm. And just to move it, you basically just have to select it and I think that's it there. And then what you do is you click edit, I mean select again and select group and then you're just going to select the basically stuff around it because you want you to and basically go up to edit select invert and click delete and then when you look on your 3d thing you realize deleted everything everything besides the near the objects near it so just try again You might have to actually just select the stuff around it and just keep deleting it until you get really close to it. Just delete link. Oops, I deleted something on him. Oops, did it again. That must be part of him. Uh, we'll delete the fairy. Okay, now it just leaves the plant and something on the ground. It must be moss or something. Um, 